What's up, everybody? Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. You might notice the skybox looks a little bit different. Um, that's because they recently did the update to where everything's running on DirectX 11. Should you actually pick that as the renderer? Now, we will probably not be continuing the rest of this episode um, in this manner because of this. Yeah. 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 Now, granted, I actually like the lighting engine. Like, um, everything runs a bit better on the light side. The light side, not the dark side. So, like, if you get down in here, your arms and everything are, like, glowing. Which is pretty cool. It's not just, like, uh, paint or part of the suit anymore, it's actually like glowing. And there's actually this cool type, of, these kind of effects, which are really neat, of like the light coming through the, uh, the window. And if you walk out of the way, you can't see it and stuff. So that's really cool. So overall, and, and you can see in the dark here, if you were down like this, and then you turn your lights on, your lights work a lot better. And they kind of like brighten up the place a bit more. So that's pretty cool. Um, but, 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 uh, mods. This is not to say that we will never do, uh, whoa, that we'll never do mods with DirectX, because frankly, I would like to, because look at all this, we're, our frame rate got so much better. Um, I'm running at about 23 frames per second now which I've been sitting somewhere in the 15 to 20 range, maybe. Um, I don't I don't know. I know this is still early, like they're not done with their lighting engine, but like this looks a little bit bright for me. I don't know if they've done like the math and that's actually what it would look like or not. But to me, it just looks a tad bit too bright to where it kind of washes things out. Um, and the colors don't quite look the same. But we are, this is my first look at the DirectX renderer, and it's all modded stuff, so that could be part of the problem why it's not uh, looking correct. This is a vanilla block, so this kind of gives you an idea. Like, I do I do like that, that now you can kind of see through them, and they're a bit more, like, they, it's just upping the graphic quality while also kind of making things uh, a bit more high quality but uh, and improving the frame rate which is a big deal um, because the frame rate in the game has not been all that great now I will say that as I'm thinking about this it is also possible excuse me um, it is also possible that the reason the frame rate has improved is because the textures aren't properly rendering. That's also possible. It may not have anything to do with the renderer so much that the textures aren't actually rendering correctly. And so, ergo, then do not cause as much strain on the system. Which, this is weird. Because I didn't think... I didn't think that the... Oh, wait, it's the lighting. Oh, I was going to say, these kind of look washed out and weird. And they're vanilla blocks. I'm, I was kind of trying to find some vanilla stuff so we could see how it would normally look, but unfortunately, I've done most of the ship in mods. So yeah, I don't know too much about whether or not... Um, wait a minute, where'd the doors go? Are the doors still here? No, those doors are, like, completely gone. That's weird. I don't think I did that on purpose. That must have been something from the... Oh! I'll have to check this when we're in the, the other renderer, because I believe I received some kind of notification a couple of episodes ago that there was a, a mod that broke, and it couldn't be found. Maybe that was the problem. Interesting. I'll have to check. It might just be the rendering thing. I don't know. Um... So yeah, it's possible that it's just because uh, we're getting an improved frame rate just because- Oh, that was cool. That was cool, I gotta try that again. 
actually it looks kind of neat, to be honest, but... Uh... What the That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah. Overall, I'm happy about it. Like, I look forward to... Oh, here's some, here's some vanilla stuff. Let's turn our lights off so we're not adding fuel to the fire. So, it's mostly lighting. It almost looks like, um... Vanilla Minecraft versus Minecraft with shaders kind of thing. So... Ugh, shaders. I hate shaders. Um... They're just... For me, um, some of you may know that I basically went for programming uh, for college and stuff like that and love it love programming love game development all that kind of stuff it's so much fun i'm just shading is like an achilles heel of mine i just i suck at shading um just kind of random side note um but so anyways we're gonna switch back over so we're i mean we're gonna lose our frame rate which is so sad but we're going to switch back over so that we actually get our mods back. Okay, so we're back in our uh, framey version. And I've been testing out a lot of different things. Um, I overhauled this side to kind of match this one over here. Um, and I've been experimenting with a little bit here and there. Like, I, was, I looked up um, interiors for the uh, Star Destroyers, and we're actually not too far off, actually, that they kind of just drop off. Now, I do notice, though, it's something I've always wondered, is there are no ramps. It looks more like this, where it's just, like, cut off, and I'm like, how do they get in and out of the... whatever, okay. So, we're still having our issues with not being able to cover up things on this end, but... I have seen this. Apparently, the walkways will work with small ships, but it works on a small ship grid. So instead of like this, where it's jumping over a full block, this, you can actually do partial blocks. Which is interesting. And we can also see that you can stack them. Because it's like the collisions don't... So small ships are where these catwalks are at. Like, you could do some serious work with these things. Um, I'm trying to see if I can walk this back and get it lined up better. I don't think I can, because it's partially off as it is. Come on. But I'm trying to see if I can do it. Part of why I don't fully want yeah, I was afraid of that. Part of why I don't fully want to commit to doing it from a small ship standpoint is because it would require re me reworking all of this. Every single block. Possibly even down... What am I stuck on? Possibly even down to this stuff? Possibly. Um, and that could prove very problematic since this is all kind of running together. It even runs down into... Yeah, I don't think I actually can do that. Like, it would be way too costly. Not, not in terms of materials or anything, but just, like, doing the stuff. It, it would be like I'd have to overhaul the entire thing with a small ship um, catwalk system, which I don't really feel like doing. It's basically like, hey, <coughs> excuse me, it's like basically going, hey, let's go rebuild the entire ship. But, I do have a couple theories that I wanted to try. One of which is this. I've noticed that you can actually stack like this. Which I didn't really think about, to be honest of doing things like... Oh, I got my controller plugged in again. Can't see... Can't see the things. I hadn't really thought of doing it like this. But again, we're kind of running into the same thing where we would then basically just be building the walls. 
um, but I really hadn't thought about using them in this angle. As for the bottom, I'm wondering... No, that won't work. It won't align to the grid. I was thinking of getting rid of this and then putting, like, or of, of this one, and then putting an upside down one so I could build on the top, but again, that changes the spacing by a lot. Um, there is always simple solutions, but, you know, like doing like this and just moving on, which temp Temporarily, I may have to, uh, just because this is not working. Um, let's see, what are my other options here? I suppose... May not be a bad option, actually. Alright, so once again, we're going to use one size a, as an experiment. I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to leave this one, because it's kind of our closest to how I would like it to look. Actually, no. I am going to use this one. Because the more I think about it, the more we'll probably end up with something like this. So, let's assume that we did something like that. Right? Right. Good. Ew, it doesn't matter. We're still going to have a problem. Oy, this is This is problematic. Okay, so basically to clue you guys in as to what I'm seeing here, the problem that I was going to try and fix is to go this route and kind of build a pathway around. But we still have this problem. I cannot cover up the bottom, which is just so frustrating. Like, literally, you have no idea how frustrated this is making me right now. That no matter what I'm trying, I cannot connect these walkways and do a subsurface without separating it entirely and I hate it. I hate this look. I want it to be free flowing but it will not work. The only solution is to put an interior wall. We'll go ahead and use this one as an example. So the only solution, literally, the only solution I have come up with is what I'm about to do right here. And it's probably going to break now that I've got wall. Oh yeah, we have a lot more hot bars, by the way. Did not know that for a while. Okay, so in the interest of making sure that doesn't break, we're going to do that instead. And then we run this all the way down. And we break this one. Like, literally, it's the only solution that I've come up with that works. This right here. Only solution. Um, and I might want to change this around on this side, since we're experimenting a little bit. Go ahead and put that there. Grab this one. Put that there. We do get a bit of a gap, but we can fix that with a wall up the edge, I think. So if I were to do something like that, it would somewhat... Actually, we could do something kind of cool there. I do kind of like that we have all these hot bars now. It makes it very... I'm, I'm going to have a hard time keeping track of everything, but it's still cool. We do also have curve blocks that we haven't really worked with, as well as these. I'm going to leave those as my windows. Um, so I could do something... 
right. No. Like this? Maybe? Maybe not all the way out. I don't know. Two might be okay. Dang, I don't... I don't know. Would that work? Actually... Hmm. 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 Well, that would be interesting. Um, tell you what, for now I'm going to operate on this idea. Like, ending right there. And not having a full corner. That's not horrible. That's not horrible. Like I said, the one huge, absolutely huge problem... Well, actually, we might have just found our solution. Reason I say this. Let's find... Oh, I need an entire hotbar for the console pack. Like, just give me all of these right here. Sweet, I do have enough. Oh, and there's a switch. Yes. Alright, now we're cooking. So the problem I've always had is with this one, we can place things... We can place three things, right? And any of you that have watched the movies know that in the movies you could walk under this. Like, it, you could see the other side, which was cool. And I just thought about, oh, I could put windows there, but then we run into the same problem of you'd be able to see under all of this, which is not cool. So, we probably can't do windows there, which is unfortunate, because I'm pretty sure in the movies they had them separate. I don't know, maybe in the movies they didn't. It looked like they did, but I don't know. We also don't know how they got in and out. <gasps> how they got in and out? Oh, that's brilliant! What if we made this a secondary entrance? Somehow. I don't know. I don't know how. Ooh. Oh my. Like, the lowly people have to come in this way. Again, we'd have a problem here, though, so maybe not... Maybe not. A lot depends on the outer hall and how we have this set up. Hmm. That is not an idea without merit, though. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. This side is going to be a test theorem on internal walkways. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I know, I've said that like five times. Just bear with me a second here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Brain Brainstorming while filming. Not a great idea. I hate these ramps. They never connect like they're supposed to. Go down one. Would it really be that hard to go down one block? Would it Would it seriously kill you? Like you're making me believe it would kill you? <sighs> Stupid ramp. Alright. Just bear with me. Just bear with me a minute. <sighs> okay. Um... Elbow. That's what I need. Mm -hmm. Oh my. And then if I put... Okay. So if I were to put... Why can't I never build off of the blocks that I want to build off of? Alright, so if I were to put that there... And 
And then this could be an end cap, because it's basically just going to be the ceiling. Uh huh? Now again, we're not having to make this look uber fancy because this is like the lowly people. Oh my. Oh my. What is happening right now? What is going on? Are we about to be brilliant? We might have to change this, but I'm not worried about it right now. Holy crap. Maybe... Oh, this just got... This might have just gotten a whole lot of awesome. This isn't holding anything, is it? I don't think it is. I think I just built this on top of it. I hope I'm not going to break anything. Okay. Alright. I'm going to make this a T just in case we end up switching this. Oh my. What is happening? Is this really happening right now? Okay. 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 Um. This part. Maybe we could wrap it around. Yes, we could. We could remove... Nope! What did I just remove? Dang it, I hate it when I do that. Okay, there it is. I hate it when you break things and then you're just like, what happened? Uh-huh. What? Is this happening? Is this really happening right now? so cool. Okay. Now, we still need to fix this. Actually, this is kind of cool because then this will work as a secondary wall on the inside as well as the outside, which is just freaking amazing. Something like this, I guess. Now, granted, I will grant you. I know what some of you are going to say, that this blows the, um, the bridge out further, but I guess not really, because we have that walkway way down there. So it doesn't really make it that much bigger. And it kind of gradually steps down. Yeah! Ooh... We can make this work. Not to mention, we can also use walls here. But for now, I'm just going to use whole blocks. Uh, because they all take up a block anyway, so... Oh, man. Now, I am going to stop it there. The reason I'm stopping it there is because I don't know how I'm going to do the frame out here, and we might cover this, like, assume this is whatever hall block we use, we might end up covering this. So I don't want to fill in how this is going to look just yet. And this might even go away too, depending on how all this goes. Uh, we might change this to an outer, and this being an inner, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's too soon to tell. Um, and we could continue this line of thinking and just mirror everything over here. Um, if that were the case, I would need this to be a T-junction. Alrighty. Now, for testing purposes, I am going to block this off just for now, because I want to see what it looks like under here. So, oh my gosh, this would be kind of freaking epic. Now, of course, we got to do all this stuff too, but I'm not worried about it. So, 
You'd come up here. Oop. Missed the block. So you would come up here. The officers would come in this way. Now we could actually pull off both theorems. What do I mean by that? I mean, we've got the walls on that side, which works, and we could kind of do it like this, though, if we want to, because all we've got to do is set these two blocks. Did I do it to a third? I did. So all we've got to do is set it like this. Come on. And then this block turns into... Okay, that one might need to be full. That one might need to stay a full block. But then this would just turn into a wall, a wall, and a wall? I was thinking, I was wondering if I should do the corner. No, no, that'll work. That that would work. It would match the design on both sides. The only difference is that side has an inner wall done. Oh! Okay, anyways, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So, the officers could come in here. And oversee, you know, you know, big bad guys do their observing and whatnotses. However, lower officers would go this way, and they would. This I'll probably change from the NM blocks to the interior blocks we're using here on this wall. And this will probably just be... Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to do something else with this, too. Like, we'll have to go back in here and then do some kind of just, like, room or wall or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll call it a throne room maintenance thing or something. I don't making this up as I go. This looks pretty cool, though. That we could come in like this. And then you're around here on the computer side, doing all of your doodattery. And then when you go this way... This isn't entirely necessary. The only reason I put this here is to kind of fill in the gap that when you come in from this end, if you're looking down here, there's just a big hole. And it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense unless we make it another hallway. That's really the only reason this is here. Because it doesn't really serve a purpose. But this could work. Except for all of this, right here. Crap. Crap. Because I can't cover any of this up. Crap. <laughs> like, I just realized I can place a block here, but I cannot place any blocks here. It would have to be under... Like, right... Nope. This is a two blocks in one, so I can't even place a block. Dang stupid ramps. These ramps are so stupid. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, that's the right way to put them. I think. Is that the right way to put them? Or should they be going this way? No, because the prongs are facing down and up there. So... Yeah, it should be like this. So why is it two blocks? <laughs> You're ruining my plans. Hmm. 
other than that, right there, this is looking really, really cool. But of course, that just had to get in the way and be uber problematic. Uh, um, dang, I really don't know what to do with that. Well, it's an idea. So basically, we've got two lines of thought here going. We have this. Which, if we did this, it would pretty much fix everything, with the one exception that we could only have computers... This is what I started to mention before I had my brainstorm. Was that, um... Wow, I cannot get this to flip right. There we go. Was that... If, w with these walls here, we can't put any computers there. So the only space we can have computers... Now, because we did do it with full blocks on the other side, it does allow us a little wiggle room. But that's the only places we can have computers with this build. On this one... We should gain a third row, but the front end is the same. The front and the back are the same because they're both walls. But we get a third row that we could have, um, like, we could have a row like this. Just hypothetically, of course, because not all these are going to be here. And then you could remove this row. I don't know what is happening right now. You know, whereas we couldn't do that over here because of how this one is set up. So there's that. Um, so this is kind of cool. I would probably remove one here for an entryway. Um, part of my brainstorm that I was going to have was if we did something like this, you could do walls like this, but then make them glass and then have a center one that's removed. Like this and then have these all glass, and then you could walk in like that, and, you know, it'd be kind of ooh-ah. Um, but... I don't know. I really like this setup on this side, with being able to walk under here. We'd have to figure out what to do with that. We'd have to refine that end, and I don't know what to do with this. This just kind of broke everything. Um, hypothetically, though, let's just try out... We could... We can do this... But that's literally it. Like, there is no... Uh, whoa, what is happening here? There's no way to change this any of these blocks. I can't put anything under them. I can't build un in between them. Like, they're just where they are. And that seems really, really problematic for this. Like, probably breaking enough to where it won't work. And I know, I know that we have jetpacks, and I could just make a little place where you could just drop off. I just don't like doing that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, I think we're out of time for this episode, so I'm going to uh, wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.